So that's it. If you There's your uh, key. Right, we're back. We had a quick uh, day off yesterday for doing a little garden wall in Southport. Slabbed it off nicely. So, we've got to bring this up another course now. We're bringing our DPC up, so we're going to add another course through. And we've got steps to build. Um, yeah, everything's loaded. Then, uh, once the porch is done, and backed up with block work, we've got the canopy to take down. And obviously, once the canopy's down, we're going to have to keep. We're going to have to be careful about getting wet. So, um, Alex has been on Amazon. He was inspired by Justin Brickwright. Thank you, Justin. This is a very uh, innovative invention. Mm. So, um, yeah, there you go. Two Ninja Turtles now. So uh, he's already nearly had my eye out once. So if you're working next to someone with that, with that on, be careful. So yeah, it's um, got our coffee, get everything ready. It's five to nine. Five to nine. So um, let's get the mix on and get cracking. While the mix is mixing, I'll get the profiles on. So enough waffling, let's do some work.
There we have it, one porch. Just wants a bit of a brush. As you can see, it's high up. So there's three, three small steps going in here now. That's the next job, which we're all set up for. And then this, this afternoon, hopefully that won't take as long. But we'll see. But uh, let's take you up inside. So, cut a, cut a groove through the um, door sill, through to the floorboards and level through. So that's level through now. And it's quite, it doesn't look much when you look at it like that. When you take this bit, this little stone porch into it, it's a hell of a fire porch. So when you come in, gonna, the door's going to open that way and open right up into this. Absolutely brilliant. So that's it for now. I'm going to get on and get these stepped up. And as you can see there, that is the three steps set out. All we need now is just to cut the flags down to 400, was it? Yeah, 400. 400, so... Yeah, three 400s, then that's all the uh, trial work done. Then we'll be onto that beast. So, I'll uh, get these flags moved over, get the stilly out, and get cut in.
Right, so I thought I'd just pull you aside one sec to show you why these canopies weren't bloody coming out. Take a look at that. So there's where we cut off the head, so there's about that much still on there. And that's what was holding it in. And as you can see as well, they've uh, they've rusted in, so they had a bloody tight grip on those uh, brackets, so they were not going anywhere, so. But nothing's impossible if you have uh, the right tools. So yeah, quite a hefty screw and plug to go in there. So they were built to last. Back to our scheduled programming.
Right, and I'm going to do a little talk about this beauty from Evolution that have been so kind as to send us this. So this obviously, as you can see, is an electric disc cutter or grinder, whatever you want to say. And it comes with RCD on the plug, which obviously that's a massive help and it's very handy. Definitely keeps you safe. Uh, even, oh God, oh, even comes with water suppression. And at first we were wondering if we got an Allen key to change the blade. And we're wondering where on earth like it, it was. And then after reading up on the instructions, there's your uh, key. So you just snap that on to unscrew your blades, change them, what have you. So this Dad's already had a quick go with this. And he has had very high opinions of it, he thinks it's great and I'm going to be changing this blade up for a metal one in a bit because the customer just wants some um, leftover railings on the pillar cutting away just so the car doesn't nick them so it's going to be my turn to give this a spin so I'll see you then And they also take your 300 mil blades, just like your still saws. Also came with a nice uh, on-brand blade, which was uh, very nice. There you have it. So get me a spot board, I'll tip this out.
God. It's a lot harder to do with a regular bucket. Yeah. With the grill, so we can shake the handles. Exactly. Got the sponge for you, mate. Yeah. Ah. And there you go. Looks a bit different to when we started now, doesn't it? So the job is done. Today we got the rest of the canopy stripped off and we've patched up, well, we, Dad has patched up the bricks where the bolts have gone through and just pointed up any other little bits of loose cracks as well. And topped off finally by just putting a bit of a chamfer on the steps like we did in the last one. But there you go. Definitely a satisfying job because it's so much different than how it looked. Just all that going has made such a difference on its own and then you've got all that. So. And there we have it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. All that is a massive help for our channel. We always greatly appreciate the support. So thank you very much. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex. With a nice porch and a missing canopy. And we'll see you in the next video.